Hey, welcome back. We want to bring you a story you'll only see right here on NBC 10 Boston. Tributes to Chris Chambers, a Navy SEAL from Massachusetts, killed in the line of duty. Westfield was his home. Tonight, NBC 10's Michael Rosenfield is speaking exclusively with someone who attended boot camp with Chambers. It's new at 11. The tragic deaths of two Navy SEALs being felt in Massachusetts. 37-year-old Chris Chambers was a star swimmer and graduate of Westfield High School and UMass Amherst. The two SEALs had been climbing aboard a ship that was carrying illegal weapons to Yemen in the middle of the night. One of the SEALs, Nathan Ingram, slipped into the Arabian Sea. Chambers jumped in to try to save him. What was taught and ingrained in us from day one is that you never leave your swim buddy. Gordon Kresser attended boot camp with Chambers. They were also in the same training class to become a SEAL. He was always the fastest swimmer <laughs> by far. I mean, there wasn't anyone close to him and how fast he was in the water, in the pool, and in the ocean. Kretzer, who did not complete the SEAL training program, says Chambers was an amazing runner and swimmer, an ideal combination to succeed. You get fins on that guy at that physique, with those size of his legs, I mean, he was an absolute fish underwater. The training was intense and Chambers stood out. He brightened up every room. As brutal as the stuff as we were going through, he always, you know, had a big smile on his face. Westfield High telling us Chris was on the swim team and a 2005 graduate. The superintendent telling us he truly is a hero. He was also a student athlete at UMass. The school's swimming coach saying his loss is a big one for our community, and we join Chris's family, friends, and those he served alongside in celebrating his life and honoring his sacrifice. Just an incredible a human being. There has been an extensive search in the waters off the coast of East Africa where the incident took place, but so far the bodies of the two Navy SEALs have not been found. The two men are presumed to be deceased. In Needham, Michael Rosenfield, NBC 10 Boston.